Imagine a time before time, before stars lit up the darkness, before our planet, our sun, or even our galaxy existed. There was nothing. And then, in a flash, there was everything. This is the ultimate origin story. How did it all begin? It started from an infinitesimally small point, a seed of pure energy, hotter and denser than anything we can imagine. This singular moment is the Big Bang, and it set the cosmos in motion. Not an explosion in space, the explosion of space itself, swelling in a fraction of a second. Think of rising dough, the loaf expands, raisins drift apart. No center, just growth everywhere. As space expanded, it cooled. From plasma came hydrogen and helium. The universe turned transparent. That ancient light is the cosmic microwave background. For millions of years after the Big Bang, the universe was dark. Hydrogen and helium drifted through the expanding void. Gravity, patient and relentless, pulled vast clouds together. Cores grew hot and dense until hydrogen fused into helium. First stars were born. The cosmic dark ages ended. These first stars were titans, brilliant and short-lived. They died as supernovae, forging and scattering heavier elements. Stellar ovens cooked carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, even iron in titanic blasts. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, the carbon in your DNA, all star-forged. We are made of stardust. Enriched clouds collapsed again, most matter fell inward to light new suns. Leftover gas, dust and ice spun into a flat swirling construction site. Dust stuck to pebbles, to rocks, to boulders, into massive planetesimals. Over millions of years, accretion built planets. Among countless worlds, Earth appears exceptional. Life as we know it needs the habitable, or Goldilocks, zone. The orbital band where temperatures are just right for liquid water. Too close and oceans boil, too far and they freeze solid. Earth rides the sweet spot, making liquid water abundant. A thick atmosphere blankets and stabilizes our world. It retains heat and blocks harmful ultraviolet radiation. A molten iron core powers a protective magnetic field. It deflects the solar wind that would strip our air and batter the surface. Geology recycles nutrients through plates, volcanoes, and ocean vents, Earth's metabolism. A large moon stabilizes our axial tilt, moderating climate over eons. Mars is cold and arid, its water lost or locked underground. Venus is a toxic greenhouse, surface hot enough to melt lead under a crushing CO2 sky. Discovering Earth's special place raises a bigger question. Are there other worlds like ours? Humanity has wondered for centuries, 